Welcome! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset or adjust position sensor on ODI2 Remax. The tools you'll need is SMPC02 diagnostic tool and the latest version of YouTube Professional. So unlike my other videos, we are not cutting or drilling anything today. Everything can be done using software. I think this new feature was released with the latest update of uh, Shimano YouTube Professional. In this short video, I'm going to take you step by step how to make adjustment to your position sensor. And remember, for any DI2 tips, visit bettershifting.com. Today, we're playing with computers. Welcome to DI2GP YouTube channel. Welcome. Today is a very exciting day. Finally, uh, Shimano released an update to a professional YouTube software where you can actually adjust position sensor of the 11 and 12 speeds uh, Remax without opening it. So you don't have to open anything. There was no tools involved. Only thing you need to do is to connect uh, to uh, YouTube professional. You have to have a SMPCE02, maybe 01, I don't know, a diagnostic tool, and then you can hook it up. So for the purpose of this video, I've uh, broke on purpose my uh, Durace unit and I'll show you everything, uh, how it works. I'm going to connect to my computer and share my screen. So we need to connect the unit first. So as you can see, it's uh, my unit, Durace 9150. We're going to maintenance. Uh, shifting unit. Just for the purpose of this video, as you can see, everything is set to zero. It's uh, the gear position number one. But if I want to adjust it, obviously the, the gear inside is hitting the case. So I cannot adjust it anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it all the way down to minus 16, which technically speaking is a one gear less. And we're going to press exit, press OK. So as you can see here, we got the plus 16. Now we need to click perform an error check. We're selecting the unit, pressing start, and that's going to shift through the range of gears. Yes, it's stopped in the first gear, but for the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select uh, no. So it might be a problem. So we click on the status check. So adjustment value was reset to zero. And I'm going to press start. And now we have an option. You can select which gear the unit is. So if your uh, remake is halfway through, you can select, let's say, third sprocket, sixth, w whichever. But obviously for me, that's uh, 11 sprocket. And I'm going to press OK. And no fault has been found. Yes, it's in this option. Now we're going to go through a couple more shifts up and down just to double check. And yes, it's in 11th gear. So as you can see now, the, uh, we can go back to adjustment. Uh, the rear uh, shifting unit was set to zero. I can press start again and now obviously as you can see, it can go minus and I can go plus because there was enough movement. But uh, this is amazing news because uh, let's be honest, uh, many of these units previously had to be taken apart. And if you didn't have the time, skills or tools to take them apart, uh, they would possibly end up in bin. Whereas now any bike shop or anyone who owns a diagnostic tool can reset gear position. Uh, if you have a slightly out of line uh, remake, so when you're on the maximum adjustment, let's say plus, uh, plus five, plus a uh, or plus minus 10, then you can set it to your perfect scenario. So the, the top jockey will be bang in the middle and then you can reset gear position. So that's going to be adjustments going to be set to plus minus zero. So uh, if you have different type of wheels, that's going to make uh, things a lot easier. But uh, 
please share this video. Uh, this is really great news and uh, every single bike shop on the planet uh, who deals with uh, DI2 should be aware of that. Uh, and uh, well done Shimano. Finally, you've done something really, really uh, sustainable because uh, you can change your packaging, but uh, that diagnostic tool feature is the, possibly the most sustainable thing you've done in the past uh, 10, 20 years. So well done and thanks for watching. Uh, please share this video, uh, that's really important. Uh, people should know about it. And uh, thank you for watching and until next time.